All right, uh, your next con here. I think it's both. This is just before your quiz number two, by the way. Reasoning with systems of equations. So this one looks complicated. This one does involve a lot of thinking. I highly recommend that you check all of your answers with me. Um, otherwise, it is really easy to make uh, mistakes on this one. So with that being said, let's just kind of walk through what you're looking for for the most part. They have here system A which are these two equations, and then they have system B, these two equations. What they're looking for is how can you get from system B from system A. So what did they do to get from here to here? So in this case, you can notice that the bottom equation stayed exactly the same. So they didn't touch the bottom equation. In fact, the only thing they did on this one is in system A, they took this negative 4y that used to be on the left side, and they added it to both sides and got it to be positive 4y side, four on this side. So they just simply added the same variable to both sides when they did this. So you've got to read the questions then. Letter A, did they replace one equation with itself um, where a quantity is added to only one side? No, because they added positive 4y actually to both sides on this one. So that's not it. But that should lead you to understand how easy it is to make a mistake. Did they replace one question with itself where the same quantity is added to both sides? Yeah, and that's exactly what we're talking about. That is what they did. Did they swap only the right side of both equations? Meaning did they mix these numbers up? And no, they didn't mix those numbers up, so that's not what they did. Did they swap the order of equations. Nope, the bottom equation is still the bottom equation. Um, they just rewrote this one as we said. So, um, is basically down here, are you still going to get the same answer? By doing a legal mathematical move where you added 4y to both sides, that is a legal math move. So you will continue to get the same answer from there. Let's try one more. Not easy, but this is what we're doing here. All right. So on this one, you will notice that the left side of these two equations are the exact same. They didn't touch a thing left side to left side. What they did do is they took the answer to A um, here and they flip-flopped those two things. First of all, the question is, is that a legal mathematical move? Can you just flip-flop answers in there? The answer is no, you cannot. So we know that is not a legal math move, so these will not give us the same results. Now, with that being said, they took and they flip-flopped the right side of this equation. So did they, A, replace only the left-hand side of one equation with the sum or difference of the left-hand side? They didn't do anything to the left side, so it's not that one. Did they replace one equation with the sum difference of both equations? Um, no, did they replace one equation? So they're saying, did they add these two together and the result of adding them together, did they put that up here? And the, and the answer is no, they didn't do that. Did they swap only the right-hand side of both equations? Did only the right-hand side of both equations? So here's your right-hand side. Did they swap those answers? And yeah, that is actually what they did. It's not legal, but that's what they did. And then letter D, did they swap the order of the equations? Meaning, did this equation become this equation and vice versa? And no, that's not what they did. So, hopefully you understand from this. This is going to be a semi-tricky one. Definitely want to get my help on this one to make sure you get your answers correct as you go along. Um, those that choose to do it on your own, uh, good luck to you. Um, you may sense a lot of frustration coming. I'm just telling you ahead of time. Uh, definitely want to seek my help on this. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.